Hey there guys, and welcome back to Nimby Rails. I'm going to try and continue finishing off the 7 line today. So, we've made it as far as 74th Street Roosevelt Avenue last week. Um, and now it's, it's not much further to get to the end. There is a yard to deal with, but it shouldn't be too bad. So first things first, I'm going to copy that station because I will need it. 82 Street, Jackson Heights, 82nd Street, I guess, Jackson Heights, is over here somewhere. There. Okay, I'm sure we can find that easily enough. It looks like it's that junction. Sorted. Uh, we'll just give it a name quickly. 82nd Street, Jackson Heights. It's great when they uh, paste in exactly the location you want them. Uh, then we have 90th Street, Elmhurst Avenue. That looks like it's on that triangle. Ninety Street, Elmhurst Ave. Shakespeare Boulevard is a bit more complicated because it's got a centre platform. So I'll skip that to 103rd Street, Corona Plaza. is up here. That junction? I think. Given it's next to Corona Plaza, that would be logical. So that's called 103rd Street Corona Plaza. Done. Now I'll quickly go back and put that junction station in. So I need that one, probably on there, but Junction Boulevard, I am right. Give it a name quickly, done. And then just connect all the tracks up. Uh, single tracks, because that's easier. Two, three. Other side of 90th Street, we have like so. Connect the third one in. Come on, there we go. And into there. And there is a junction, a set of points thing over here. Um, actually, this is the better map to look at for it. So I think, by the looks of it, this just allows express trains that were on the centre line to come off and stop at uh, 74th Street, Roosevelt Avenue, and then go back onto the express line. Whether that actually happens or not, well, judging by the fact that they're not purple but black, I imagine it doesn't happen. So, we're already down at... 103rd Street. 111th Street is a bit more complicated because we've got the um, tracks into the yard to be dealing with. Everything seems to be at different heights, so I'm not really sure what's going on there. I guess if we look at this map it might tell us a bit more. Uh, no, this map. I'm not really sure what's going on there. Oh, 
I think the express line goes up a level. So, where, where are we? 111th Street. Um, I need uh, an elevated station with outer platforms and two centre tracks. That's going to be a push. So an elevated four track is not a common scenario. I guess it doesn't have to be elevated, I just need two outer tracks and two centre tracks. I really don't have to build it myself. <laughs> there will be one. There we go, this will do. I'll copy this, then I'll make it elevated later. So, 111th Street is... There? Where's there? It's there. That's where it is. Um, so we will move this around a little bit. Um, stretch it out a bit. There we go. Now that all of this needs to be at plus one. It's just called 111th Street. It's also another track at plus two running over the top. I'm going to parent that off here, but say 7.5 offset the other side. So it's in the middle. Flip, and then finally pick parent off there. Flip, 7.5. Done. Okay, now, next step. We need to bring this whole thing down a couple of nodes. and then connect in some tracks here. So that will connect in there, that will connect in there, that will connect into the centre one. I need that to run a bit further. I need that to run a bit further. I need these to not run this far. That can be plus two. And there we go, it's up on top of everything now. Now that 111th Street Crony Art, there's almost certainly a diagram for this. He says optimistically. Doesn't look like there is. Bit of a pain. Um, oh well, guess I have to try and interpret it then. I don't know, there's, there's worse ones to try and interpret from below. I reckon that's a both directions crossover? Probably is. That's in the middle of the station. So plus one. I'm going to turn off plus two for now. So that I can see what I'm doing a bit clearer. There we go. That's the first crossover. Um... I'm going to extend that down a little way. Centre tracks plus two. Um, just need to work out where the entrance to the yard actually is. Oh, right, they come off under that road. Right. Um, I was hoping for a bit more distance than that, but okay. Parent that off there, flip, and 5 metres, and that's going to come down here. Now that means these then need to rise up to plus 2. Oh no, they need to stay at plus 1. Okay. 
Not totally clear on where they're going, but over there should be fine. Then we've got crossovers to do just past the station. They should run like this and back. On both sides. There we go. There's another track there. This is this is where it gets a bit more complicated. So that I need offset to only be five meters now. I'm going to have another I'm gonna bring that down to plus one again. Where am I? We'll see. We'll see how I feel about that. That's going to pair an off of there, but at 10 meters flipped. I'm not sure I feel about this actually. There, we're going to go up to plus two. And from there, we're going to have a set of points that comes into that. And that crosses over to there. That's how I interpret that junction works. It's a bit confusing. I'm going to ignore the yard for now and go straight up to the next station. I'm going to bring everything back down to minus one as well. Because that feels like... Well, we're back down to plus one. And I'm going to turn plus two back on. We should now be able to see everything. Okay, first things first, I need to know where Metz Willits Point Station is. How much space have I got to work with? It is there by the looks of it. Also, what sort of a station layout is this? <laughs> so I'm going to have one... Tr uh, oh, actually, yeah, I'll we'll have two and one. That will parent off of that, but 15 away. And that will parent off of there, but 15 away. I think that covers everything. A um, bit shorter. Select, disable, keep straight. Um, no, no offset. That's fine. Station name. Metz Willits Point. And just the label. Just the name on the label. Words. Okay. The four tracks can carry on a little bit then. Eventually that one that one will need to stop. They connect in there. This one connects in there. There's a switch from the middle platform over to that one. And we then come off there to make that line. We also come off there, up to there, and the other way. And in the gap, we have a double crossover. Ooh, nice and complicated. Although, to be fair, I think that is everything of the, um, the 
It's the main line, it's just the yard that I've not looked at. Future problem. So there's only one more station, I believe. Which is in a tunnel. Um, uh, what sort of station is it? It's three, three platform stations. Did I have one of those up? No, that's just two. Must have had a three platform station on one of these lines. Two, two. Really? Did none of these end in three platforms? Well, that's just awkward. Okay. I do have three platform stations. I'll just take Junction Boulevard again. Now, whereabouts are we? It's over the river by the looks. There. That, that one. I'm going to get rid of that because this is very much the end of the line. Call it Flushing Dash Main Street. Put it down in a tunnel. I'm going to assume we come out of the tunnel in this gap. And then follow the road down to the station. Sorted. Okay. Back over here. The crossovers are quite simple. Make it a bit longer. Got plenty of room to work with. There we go. Up at flushing is a different matter. They're a bit more complicated. They're down into a tunnel. Have a crossover like that. There we go. Um, points from there to the bottom line. And the middle to the bottom in the other direction. And then the middle to the top. And that should cover everything. So then having done that, I believe uh, line 7 is finished. Except for the yard. I have to do the yard. Oh, I forgot about the yard. That should be relatively quick, right? 